सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट विच आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड टू इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज एस डब्ल्यू आर स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशियो एंड स्टैंडिंग वेव ओके सो देर आर सम एक्सप्रेशन विच यू नीड टू बी फॉलोइंग फॉर दीज टू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टैंडिंग वेव एंड स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशियो so that uh, notes in this notes i have uh, written it in detail what and all are the set of expressions and what do you mean by these two standing waves and standing wave ratio so those concepts i'm going to explain it and this notes uh, with with the help of this notes i'm going to explain it and this notes i have already circulated in, in your description in uh, each video's description this uh, module 1 notes is available please go and access it and read it and try to understand it okay because this is a very a uh, selective subject uh, we don't discuss this subject a lot so that's why the notes also are very very limited you see if you want to search from other resources also there there are very less notes from the related to this subject because this is a not so uh, trending subject okay but what to do the video side has kept the syllabus for uh, syllabus for you as the first subject of 7th sem so that's why i try my best to circulate the notes whatever i write down the notes in the college based on my understanding or uh, about how my lecturer uh, explains me on that way i'm copying it down all the concepts and explaining it to you guys okay so it is your duty to understand my efforts and uh, it is your duty also to whatever you understood in from this video you try to spread it with others okay whatever you understand from these videos or whatever you understand uh, in by in uh, listening to the class your those who those who so ever understood it it is their duty to explain it to others okay because in that way only the knowledge would be getting spreaded up so please please my suggestion is to you guys if you understand the concepts not only this subject regarding to any subject please explain it to others let others know as well and then let everybody come to know about these concepts and let everybody get good marks in the exams okay so knowledge is mainly based on spreading okay whatever knowledge you get you should be having the capability of spreading it to others as well okay yeah so let us start with the concept now standing waves and standing wave ratio so the transmission line equation consists of two parts that is wave traveling from sending end to receiving end and wave getting reflected back from receiving to sending end okay so these are the transmission line characteristics simply you could be saying and uh, the equations also consists of these parameters which it is mentioned here wave traveling from sender to receiver whatever the wave microwave or any wave in a particular circuit if if it gets traveled from sender side to receiver side some parameters would be coming into the picture based on that the equations are formed that is voltage equation and current equation and the reflected back wave okay whatever the wave is sent from sender to receiver some part of it would be getting reflected back and then some part of it would be going into the output side okay that reflected that reflected uh, wave from receiving to sending end that would be dependent on the whether it is a pure wave or a pureless wave for that we are uh, coming up with these transmission line equations where you would be you would be getting to know about the uh, reflected wave transmitted wave everything based on the concepts which we have already discussed that is reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient under that we would, we would be getting about how much wave is getting reflected back and how much wave is getting transmitted okay so with these things one more concept come into the picture that is called as standing waves what do you mean by standing wave is it is simply the wave which is getting trans getting transmitted and getting received but the way the pattern in which the transmission and reception takes place and uh, if it is going in a particular period and uh, if it is going in a particular frequency or amplitude that particular set of wave are called as standing waves and the ratio to be uh, and the ratio for the standing wave is also dependent on two parameters that is transmission and reflection coefficient okay so based on that some discussions on this let us discuss in this video okay so now we know that v is equal to v plus e to the power minus gamma z plus v minus e to the power gamma z okay so this gamma is the propagation constant which i already discussed and this is the 
transmission line voltage equation okay where with, with respect to the z parameter so here the propagation constant is also given by one formula which i have already discussed in the during the concept of this propagation constant that is gamma is is equal to alpha plus j beta okay so based on this what i have done is you see here i have substituted this gamma in this equation that is v plus e to the power alpha e to the power minus since it is here he since here we have minus gamma so that's why it would be e to the power minus alpha z into e to the power minus j beta z okay where i have split the powers with respect to the same base plus v minus into e to the power alpha z into e to the power j beta z okay so here what i'm doing is you see here here e to the power minus j beta z and e to the power j beta z it is in the form of e to the power j theta and e to the power minus j theta okay for that we have one formula right it is given by cos theta minus j sin theta in case of negative sign and cos theta plus j sin theta in case of positive sign in this case the value of theta is beta z okay so i have replaced it and written it that is cos beta z minus j sin beta z and here i have replaced it by cos beta z plus j sin beta z okay after that what i have done v equal to v plus e to the power minus alpha z plus v minus e to the power alpha z into cos beta z minus j into v plus e to the power minus alpha z minus v minus e to the power alpha z into sin beta z okay i have just split it by multiplying cos beta z and j sin beta z after that uh, grouping them together some few of the steps i have skipped it because uh, it would be a very lengthy so if that i expect you guys to do it because you are in the seventh sem and you should be having the knowledge about how to substitute it i have just multiplied each terms and split it and written it in this form okay so this is the equation here now further is here i have taking the parameter vs okay that is the standing wave parameter standing wave voltage simply we could be saying it as and i have written it as v not into e to the power minus j phi okay this phi is another component which i am introducing here since we are already having alpha and beta so that's why i thought to introduce phi okay where this v not is given by v plus e to the power minus alpha z plus v minus e to the, e to the power minus alpha uh, e to the power alpha z cos square beta z plus v plus e to the power minus alpha z minus v minus e to the power alpha z sin square beta z whole to the uh, uh, this is square term whole to the power half okay this is the value of v not and phi is equal to arc tan arc tan or we could be simply writing it as tan inverse it is one and the same of this term into tan beta z okay so where v not is the standing wave pattern and phi is the phase pattern okay now the maximum and minimum value are obtained by differentiating equation 1 so whatever this equation we got with respect to beta z you need to be differentiating first and equating it to zero okay so if you do the differentiation and equating it to zero some parameters which we are going to be getting that is called as v max and v min okay these two parameters are very important so v max is given by v plus e to the power minus alpha z plus v minus e to the power alpha z so that is equal to v plus e to the power alpha alpha z into 1 plus magnitude of gamma okay this occurs when beta z is equal to n pi where n equal to 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 okay and v min is given by the same thing this equation only that is equal to v plus e to the power minus alpha z into 1 minus gamma okay this occurs when beta z is equal to 2n minus 1 pi divided by 2 okay so the distance between successive maxima and minima is one half of the wave length that is beta z equal to n phi z equal to n phi by beta z equal to n lambda by 2 okay after simplification so this is the standing wave pattern which i wanted to tell you guys you see here so in this in the standing wave pattern it would be traveling in one set of one one set of amplitude and frequency with constant frequency and amplitude and uh, in this case uh, the v max and v min value in this case it is lambda by 2 if you consider the value of z as 1 we would be getting lambda by 2 and for second phase it is 2 lambda by 2 and it goes on okay so that's why it is n lambda by 2 and this is the wave pattern for that standing wave and this is the standing wave when 
we have the same amplitude but it is traveling in a not in a straight direction but in a bended direction okay so this is the patterns of standing wave which consists of voltages and currents with the same amplitude lambda by 2 itself okay it consists of v max and v min so consider case 1 when v plus not equal to 0 and v minus equal to 0 in this case what we would be getting v naught as from equation 1 we would be getting the value of v naught as v plus e to the power minus alpha z for case 2 when v plus equal to 0 and v minus equal to v, v minus not equal to 0 we are getting the value of v naught as v minus e to the power alpha z case 3 when the positive and negative wave have equal amplitudes when the amplitudes are equal then we get v plus e to the power minus alpha z equal to v minus e to the power alpha z or the magnitude of the reflection coefficient is unity okay the reflection coefficient magnitude we would be getting it as a unity because since these two are equal so that's why the magnitude also we would be getting uh, it since it is getting divided so that's why it would be unity uh, because it gets cancelled so if you if you divide these two if you have the same value it would be getting cancelled each other so the remaining reflection coefficient would be equal to one right so that's why it is unity the standing wave pattern with zero phase is given by this equation okay this is the final equation for a pure standing wave okay that is given by vs is equal to 2 times v plus e to the power minus alpha z why 2 times since these two are equal so that's why uh, if these two components are getting added up it would be 2 times right with an angle of cos beta z okay so this is the pure standing wave in which the positive as well as negative uh, waves have, would be having the equal amplitudes if we the in, in both the pa wave patterns positive as well as negative if it consists of equal amplitudes and it is traveling in a particular set of period in that case the reflection coefficient one thing would be equal to unity and the standing wave pattern equation would be something like this and whenever the negative and positive amplitudes are equal the wave corresponding to that is called as a pure standing wave okay so that you need to be noting down it is very very important okay so this is the equation for standing wave please note it down now let us get to quickly the concept of standing wave ratio it is very easy standing waves result from si simultaneous presence of waves traveling in the opposite directions on a transmission line the ratio of maximum standing wave pattern to the minimum is defined by standing wave ratio so this is the definition of standing wave ratio that is ratio of maximum standing wave pattern to the minimum maximum to minimum that is it is represented as rho v max divided by v minimum for in case of voltage or in case of current i max divided by i minimum okay so v max and v min we have already defined it okay v max and v min that is v plus e to the power minus alpha z into 1 plus gamma and v plus e to the power minus alpha z into 1 minus gamma okay if you divide these two these two components cancels each other so the left out terms are 1 plus gamma divided by 1 minus gamma okay so this is the uh, uh, this is the equation for standing wave ratio it is the ratio of the maximum standing wave pattern to the minimum standing wave pattern okay the concept is called a standing wave ratio or it is also called as swr which is equal to 1 plus gamma divided by 1 minus gamma okay so with this expression it is clear that the reflected part whatever the signal is passed through the circuit or any network in a particular amplitude uh, with positive and negative values of the amplitude with respect to Vmax and Vmin the pattern generated and the ratio is equal to both the parameters that is Vmax, Vmin and it is equal to Imax, Imin okay and we could be saying that the current and voltages are interrelated to each other and the reflected pattern generated from the standing wave is calculated using the standing wave ratio with respect to the reflection coefficients here okay so that's why this is the formula for standing wave ratio so we have some note points note one when standing wave ratio is unity no reflection and uh, that if if it is in this condition then that line is called a smooth line okay so why there is no reflection you see here in this equation these two are reflection coefficients right so they have told you when standing wave is unity when this would be unity when these two values would be equal to zero that is if you do one plus zero divided by one minus zero that would be equal to one by one that is equal to one or unity so that's why 
the standing wave ratio would be unity when there is no reflection okay so if there is no reflection the standing wave ratio is unity if there is some reflection the standing wave ratio would be strictly less than unity okay keep that in mind the standing wave ratio would be strictly not less than sorry greater than unity okay greater than unity not less than unity since here in the numerator we have plus sign whereas for reflection coefficient formula in the numerator we had minus sign okay so that's why it would be strictly greater than unity not less than unity okay so swr of a pure standing wave is infinity okay if we have a pure standing wave without any bend in this case this is a pure standing wave with the constant uh, straight wave for that the standing waves uh, ratio is always infinity okay so these are the things under standing waves and standing wave ratio uh, these these concepts are very important and uh, this notes if you write these points it would be very very beneficial for your exams not from the internal point of view but for the final exam point of view okay it is well and good easily you would be getting around 6 marks for this question okay whatever the points i mentioned here in this notes please write it this notes i have already put it in the description so please go through this book okay in the pdf form i have already kept it all these graphs equations and how it is formed with respect to the parameters everything you need to be mentioning with one simple definition of standing wave and standing wave ratio okay please 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 note this very important from the exam point of view. Okay. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you. Please support us. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Spread this uh, video to a huge number and let the people know that we are making the videos related to the antenna, microwave engineering and antenna theory. Please do it guys. Share it with your friends. Like this video. Thank you.